Welcome to the Ultimate Music Theory Basic Rudiments Lesson 5. In Lesson 4, you learned the major scale pattern and how to write the circle of fifths in less than one minute. In Lesson 5, I'm going to show you how to use the major scale pattern and the circle of fifths to identify intervals. Now an interval is the distance and pitch between two notes. We count each line and each space. So for example, D to A, we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is called an interval of a fifth. And there's two types of intervals, harmonic intervals and melodic intervals. A harmonic interval is written one note above the other, both played at the same time, together. H is for harmony. From D to A is an interval of a perfect fifth. It's a harmonic fifth. A melodic interval is written one note beside the other, played one note after the other separately. M is for melody. So from D to A or A to D are both intervals of a melodic fifth. When counting a melodic interval, we always count from the lower note to the higher note. So here's a UMT tip on how to remember which is which. The letter H is for harmonic. Think of the harmonic H as a hotel where one note is above the other. A harmonic interval of a first and a second cannot be written one note on top of the other. They're written beside each other, touching each other. And each of them are played together. The letter M is for melodic. And think of the M as a motel, where one note is beside the other. Intervals of a first, fourth, fifth, and eighth are called perfect intervals. Intervals of a second, third, sixth, and seventh are called major or minor intervals. When teaching intervals, always count from the lower note to the upper note to identify the interval number. And then, teach students to identify the major key signature of the lower note or the bottom note. In this example, the lower note is D. Now use the circle of fifths to confirm the key signature for D major is two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. In this example, we're using harmonic intervals. Each note of the D major scale is written above the tonic, which is the first note of the scale. These intervals are a perfect first, major second, major third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, major sixth, major seventh, and a perfect eighth. To change a major interval into a minor interval, we lower the upper or top note one semitone or half steps. The only intervals that can become minor are a second, third, sixth, and seventh. Now here's a UMT tip when identifying intervals. It's called the karate chop. Karate chop the intervals. Now place your hands like this, and this is on the keyboard or even an imaginary keyboard, and we'll start with our left hand on D. That's our key note. It's also called the tonic, and we can't move the left hand. In order to change a major second to a minor second, we lower the E to E flat, making the interval one semitone or half step smaller. Karate chop the next one with me. D to F sharp. When changing the major third to a minor third, we lower the F sharp to F natural, one half step smaller. Karate chop the next one, D to B. To change the major sixth to a minor sixth, we lower the B to B flat. Remember to only move your right hand as we karate chop the intervals. And finally, when changing the major seventh to a minor seventh, D to C sharp, we lower the C sharp to C natural. So when identifying intervals, use the circle of fifths to find the major key signature of the lower note. Identify the perfect intervals of a first or unison, fourth, fifth, and eighth. Then karate chop the intervals of a second, third, sixth, and seventh when changing from a major interval into a minor interval. And this will help you see the distance between the keys as a major interval becomes one half step or semitone smaller and changes into a minor interval. So in our fifth Ultimate Music Theory, Basic Rudiments Lesson, you learned how to use the circle of fifths to identify the major key signature of a lower note of an interval and how to change a major interval of a second, third, sixth, and seventh 
into a minor interval by lowering the top note one half step. We also learned that perfect intervals are a first, fourth, fifth, and eighth. Remember the UMT tip for intervals, H for harmonic, together, written one note above the other, and M for melodic, separate, written one note beside the other. When completing the review tests, remind students to read all the questions carefully, underlining the important words, and always to check their review test to be sure that all the questions have been completed correctly. Now, after marking the review test, write the score on page 3 of the table of contents so you can see the progress of how they're doing. In our next video, Ultimate Music Theory, Basic Rudiments Lesson 6, I'll show you exactly how to add the minor keys to the circle of fifths. Plus, you'll get a UMT tip on how to easily remember the natural minor, harmonic minor, and melodic minor scales. Till next time, teach with passion.